web a place of convenience automation and sometimes security nightmares imagine logging into your bank clicking a suspicious link and suddenly without you even knowing money is transferred out of your account scary right welcome to the world of csrf cross site request forgery where attackers trick your browser into making request you never intended by the end of this video you will understand exactly how csrf works with real world examples and learn how to stop it before it causes damage so let's dive in csrf or cross site request forgery attacks might sound abstract but they have been exploited in real world scenarios affecting banking systems social media platforms and even corporate accounts let's break down exactly how they happen with real examples and potential consequences let's start with csrf in banking transactions imagine you are logged into your online banking account say at mybank.com the bank uses cookies for authentication which means every request you send automatically includes those cookies because your browser stores authentication session or cookies you then open a tab and unknowingly visit a malicious website say evil.com and the hacker running this site injects an invisible image request that malicious site automatically sends a hidden request to your bank's api and here is how it looks now since your browser is still logged into the bank it automatically includes your session cookies with request the bank processes the request thinking you actually intended to transfer money and then your money is gone the worst part you never saw the request happening no passwords were stolen and the attacker simply took advantage of your authenticated session in fact a csrf vulnerability was found in ing's bank's online banking system that allowed attackers to transfer money without requiring user confirmation an attacker could craft a malicious request and send it to a logged in user tricking them into unknowingly transferring money csrf can also be found in social media platforms for spamming user profiles social media platforms allows users to post messages upload images or send friend request via http request if these requests don't include proper csrf protection an attacker can force users to post content without their consent imagine facebook allows users to post a status update via http request so if facebook doesn't have csrf protection an attacker could embed invisible form on a malicious site like this And here is what happens. You visit evil.com while logged into Facebook, and your browser automatically includes your session cookies, and the form submits a spam post to your Facebook timeline without your knowledge. In fact, in 2009, a CSRF vulnerability on Twitter allowed attackers to force users to tweet a message without their permission. The attack worked by embedding a malicious script on a web page. When a logged-in user visited the page, their Twitter account automatically tweeted a spam message. and thousands of users were affected within hours leading to twitter quickly patching the issue csrf is also found commonly while changing passwords or email addresses also known as hijacking accounts let's say i am the admin of my site bitemark.io normally if an admin wants to change their email they would send this post request the admin intentionally submits this request by filling out a form and clicking a button Now imagine I the admin is logged into bitemark.io meanwhile the attacker tricks me into visiting this site evil.com and here is what happens i visit evil.com and browser automatically submits the form to change the account email the attacker now owns the admin account and can reset the password and also lock me the real owner out In 2012, GitHub had a CSRF vulnerability that allowed attackers to change user email addresses. Attackers could then reset passwords and take over accounts. And this vulnerability was quickly patched and GitHub enforced CSRF tokens and additional authentication layers. So, after seeing how dangerous CSRF can be, let's go over how to prevent it. We know that in CSRF attack the attacker tricks an authenticated user into unknowingly making a malicious request and this happens because browsers automatically send authentication cookies with every request whether the user intends to send it or not but what if the server required a secret token that only the real users knows 
and that's exactly what CSRF tokens do. They ensure that only legitimate requests get processed. A CSRF token is a unique randomly generated value that must be sent with every sensitive request. And here is how CSRF tokens work step by step. Step 1. When the user logs in, the server authenticates the user and generates a random CSRF token, storing it in the session or a cookie. The server then sends the CSRF token to the client. The token is included in the hidden input field in forms or sent via response headers. The client then submits the form or API request with the CSRF token. The server then validates the token. If the CSRF token is valid, a request is processed. And if the CSRF token is missing or incorrect, the request is rejected. And here is how you can secure form submission with CSRF token in HTML and JavaScript. Here, the CSRF token is embedded in the form, ensuring the request cannot be forged. In Spring Boot, you can enable CSRF protection like this. This ensures all POST requests require a CSRF token. If Node.js is your backend server, the CSRF token is generated by the Node.js backend using CSURF or CSURF middleware and then sent to the client. And here is what happens step by step. When a user visits a page, the CSURF middleware generates a CSRF token using req or request.csrf token. This token is stored in a cookie, say XSRF token, or embedded in the HTML response. This token is unique per session or request. Now, the client or browser has the CSRF token in a cookie, say XSRF token, or as a part of the form. So, the client or frontend must include the CSRF token in request. The CSRF token is embedded in the hidden input field. Here, this form automatically sends the CSRF token when submitted. Now, when the client submits a POST request, it will include the CSRF token. The CSURF middleware automatically extracts the CSRF token from this request. And if for any reason the token is missing or incorrect, the request will be rejected. Also, all modern browsers allow setting cookies with same site attribute, preventing them from being sent in cross-site request. And here is an example of that in Node.js Express. This blocks CSRF attacks by preventing cross-site requests from sending cookies. Now, I have already explained the concept of cores or cross-origin resource sharing in my previous video. With cores, you can determine if the request should be allowed or blocked, but it won't stop CSRF attacks. However, it can prevent unauthorized JavaScript from reading API responses. And here is an example in Spring Boot. Here, by listing specific sites in allowed origins, you can ensure that only trusted websites can send requests. Now, if you are working on a web app, you should test for CSRF vulnerabilities. Here are some tools to help. OWASP Zap or Z Attack Proxy is a free security scanner that detects CSRF vulnerabilities in your web apps. Burp Suite is another tool which is used for security testing, allowing you to manipulate requests and check for CSRF weaknesses in your app. CSRF Tester is another simple tool for crafting CSRF attack payloads to test your app security. CSRF is a dangerous attack that exploits a user's authentication session to perform unintended actions. It doesn't steal your data, but it can trick users into changing settings, transferring money, or posting content on their behalf. CSRF protections include using CSRF tokens, same site cookies, re-authentication, and strict course policies. But do remember, course is not a defense against CSRF. Course controls API access while CSRF exploits authentication sessions. Now that you know how to prevent CSRF attacks, don't leave your app vulnerable. In the next video, I will dive deeper into advanced security protections like content security policy or CSP and same site cookies. So hit that subscribe button and stay tuned.